Hi friends, hope you are doing well. I am Dr. Ganguly. Welcome to my channel. Now today I am making a video in response to questions from a lot of young people as well as their parents. And this question involves, should I study data science? And as many of you know, there has been a proliferation of data science courses, not only at the graduate level, but also at the UG level. So you now have Bachelor of Science programs in data science, you have Bachelor of Arts programs in data science, and of course you have master's program in data science. You have programs in not only the engineering departments, but also in the arts department. Sometimes you have programs in the management department. So there has been an explosion in data science and this has been brought about the large number of jobs which are being generated in this field. So let's look at some of the things which are important in data science and I'm going to keep this video quite general so it will appeal to both the students who are likely to study data science and their parents who may be thinking of putting a lot of money on their students or their children studying data science. So let's look at some of these things. So the first thing I'm going to discuss is what are some of the problems which you can solve using data science. So let's look at the first problem which is very important for businesses that is Will a consumer or a customer buy my product? So for example, let's consider YouTube. If you are a person watching YouTube today, it can be predicted from where you are watching, what device you are watching on, what's your gender, and so on as to what is the product you are likely to buy. So for example, there is information about the device you are watching this from. So this video, you may be watching it in an Android phone, an Apple phone, or a PC or a TV. So your behavior is going to be slightly different based on what is your device. You may be watching it at a different geographical location. You may be watching it from home. You may be watching it from your workplace. You may be watching it at school. Also, you may be male or female. Your age grouping is going to be different. You may be in the 20 to 25 age group, 25 to 30 age group, 45 to 50 age group. Each of these essentially belongs to a different category and the marketer is going to target different ads to each age group. So essentially now if your company has access to all this data, then it can determine very well as to what are the different people likely to buy. And this is where data science comes in. How do you use this data to essentially come up with this kind of information? So a next problem which is relevant to many people is how do you extract information from medical images? So now you know that very highly skilled doctors can look at different CT scans, x-rays and so on and extract information from there. But this is something which could also be done by, for example, a machine learning system. So again, if you have enough data of patients who are healthy and enough data of patients who have some problem, then that problem can be diagnosed by looking at the data. So this is another aspect of data science. The third problem could be fraud in credit card transactions. So essentially, most of the time, credit card transactions go through, they are legitimate. But every now and then, there is a fraudulent transaction taking place. So again, we can take the data which is currently OK, and we can also look at what could be fraudulent data. Maybe somebody charged this card in some completely different location. Geographically, maybe it was charged on a purchase which is completely off this buyer's previous history. So essentially this buyer most of the time shops for, let's say, books and drinks coffee and so on, and suddenly he's buying products at some top mall in Switzerland. So maybe there's some problem with it. So again, these are issues which can be handled much better with data science. You can't have millions of people sitting around monitoring all these transactions. So computers are much better at doing this. You could also have personalized medical treatment. You could use the history of any person to essentially figure out what are the problems they may likely have down the road. And maybe there could be some kind of palliative care to fix this problem before it happens. And also there are ubiquitous users as far as the industry is concerned. So whether your car is going bad, now remember the car may have so many sensors and all these sensors are feeding data to the system. So the system may know in advance that there is going to be an 
engine problem in the car and this could be diagnosed. So you can see that because of the explosion of data in many problems, data science has become very important. And so there are many jobs in the corporate sector in data science. And like I mentioned, these are in business, these are in finance, these are in engineering, and I'm sure they are also there in government for that matter. So now let's look at what you study when you study data science. So essentially, the core of data science is math and the typical math you study in data science is different than what you study in the engineering discipline. So engineering disciplines are heavily centered around calculus and differential equations. So you may spend a lot of time studying vector calculus and so on. Now in data science, the aim is to really study more of matrix theory and statistics and to some degree calculus is important but mostly data science uses differentiation so differentiation is used in for example machine learning but integration is rarely used in data science so that's something to keep in mind for all you people who have some level of calculus phobia maybe data science is the way to go because what i've seen is that most people like matrix theory and statistics and probability but there is a certain section of people who are completely afraid of calculus so this is something to keep in mind that as long as you can differentiate functions you can generally do data science now some of the more advanced things you are going to study in data science include machine learning and so on so there the math can get quite difficult but i would still say the math is mostly linear algebra with some calculus thrown in and a lot of probability and stochastic processes so that's something to keep in mind. Now, what are the typical courses you are going to study in data science? So you will study some aspects of computer science, some aspect of math, and some aspects of sometime another domain. So you are most likely going to study something like data structures and algorithms. So these are courses which come directly from computer science. You will study some programming language such as Python and R. So Python is often used by the engineering type of data scientist R is often used by the statistical type of data scientist. Also important things to know are databases. So you may study about SQL, relational databases, know some tools such as Pandas, which is a part of the Python library, NumPy and so on. Then some other things you are going to study are data visualization, big data, time series, then numerical computation, how to use data in terms of business and also some aspects of ethics of data science is being introduced in many universities because as you have access to so much data there are legitimate questions being asked on how much is it legitimate to use all this data to predict people's behavior and these questions become more important when you're dealing with issues such as finance or healthcare. so keep that in mind now when you look at computer science curriculums there are several aspects of computer science which are not often taught in data science for example about language natural language processing then you may have subjects such as compilers and networking and digital design and logic and discrete math which are often not taught in data science so keep this in mind that there are jobs which say they are data scientist job but which involve a lot of natural language processing or computer vision and um, these kind of jobs may actually be more suited to somebody who has done a computer science degree so keep that in mind now one important thing which is becoming clear to anybody who is in data science is that the application domain plays a very important role in data science so if you are going to use data science in business then you need to know something about business if you are going to use data science in health sciences you need to know something about health sciences if you use data science in the engineering domain then you need to know about that particular engineering domain so for example if you want to use it for gas turbine diagnostics you need to know how gas turbines work at least to some level so again what happens is that they can't teach you all this in one degree and so very often there are some elective courses you can take in some other departments to know some of these different aspects and often you pick it up when you work in a company so think about doing some internships if you are a bachelor degree student if you are a master's degree student go around to the computer science department and if you can register for some courses in computer vision or natural language processing and um, so on so this will certainly help your case now most people would not actually need to know a lot about the internal working of computers such as 
compilers and the digital logic and some of these courses so that may be nice for people who do not like to get too deep into the logic aspects of problems so some of those things may be spared for you if you are in data science now what about career so like i mentioned there are a lot of jobs today in data science and many of these jobs are present in a large variety of companies so you will see not only there are jobs in the healthcare field in the business domain finance domain in real estate but also in insurance companies and various other fields but i would say that if you look at the jobs which are out there in the computer science type of companies then they are actually still more tailored toward the computer science major so for example if you are doing something like developing a machine learning tool such as chat gpt then a computer science background may be more useful to you because you are essentially dealing with language here and language models and reinforcement learning and neural networks so here some of the things which are going on for example in self driving car technology you are dealing with vision computer vision and all these things it may be better for you to actually come from the computer science background and take some courses in data science to strengthen that aspect so if you are going to be somebody who is very technical who wants to solve some of the problems where data is coming in very complex forms then you may think of doing a computer science degree also so again that is a question you have to debate about what is the possible domain you want to apply your work to now finally i would say that while there are a lot of jobs in data science i want to give you the truth so there are some negative aspects of data science also and that is that in most companies data science is not the domain through which growth actually takes place in career so very often data science are almost in a consulting type of mode the main function of the industry may be in healthcare or it may be in insurance or in real estate or in finance and so what they are doing is they are hiring the data scientists to build some tools and do some work essentially to get them to be more profitable and so keep that in mind that you may have to later do an mba degree to propel yourself up in the career and that will certainly help you to break out into the management parts of the equation as far as these kind of companies are concerned so i end this video today i hope this video is useful to you please remember to subscribe to my channel and spread my channel throughout your network thank you very much see you soon